Hey guys, Anthony here. Um, the video you're going to see following this is a test of me testing out the Iwatani stove and doing some cooking in the van or outside the van. So what you're going to see is a, a quick setup in a local, you know, strip mall here in Fort Lauderdale. Today is uh, Saturday, the 24th of October. We're looking at 82 degrees, breezy, night, really nice day, not super humid. And uh, took the doggies and uh, my wife out. Uh, stopped at the drive-through Starbucks and then went over to the back of the building and parked um, parked in the last space uh, where there was a grassy area where I was able to open the doors side and back without anybody really looking in and uh, set up the grill outside and also set up the um, use the uh, Yeti cooler uh, both as a cooler and on the top half of it you'll see in the video I have it used as a uh, refrigerator uh, had some ham and some mixed uh, vegetables in there some diced vegetables uh, some Mexican cheese and some other items uh, that I used to, to keep cold from the morning and uh, used it to make some eggs and uh, used the eggs on a mission tacos and uh, basically made us a breakfast had our coffee and breakfast and was actually able to make a second helping and um, enjoy ourselves so we're headed back to the house now I'm going to download this video and get it posted but I wanted to uh, uh, and then later on today, I'll show you what I did in the van. I ended up getting the leak fixed. They found where it was coming from. I'll do that in another video. It did cost me, uh, when it was all said and done, uh, 500 bucks uh, to get that fixed. But I'm glad it's done. Now I'm, this weekend, I'm trying to organize the van. And then I have a couple other things I plan on doing with it, uh, with the bed top. I'll talk, that, I'll talk to you guys about that in the... Um, follow-up video that I do to this so today's test was to get out set the van back up uh, do some cooking outside in an urban area in the middle of the day it's 1230 on Saturday and uh, still be stealthy we had one guy park had to park right next to us right before right when I was doing the dishes in the back of the van but he ended up parking there and then walking into the stores. But um, other than that, nobody even knew we were doing anything back there. Okay, Anthony signing off. Stay ready. Hey guys, Anthony here. Here's my setup for this morning. Just made some eggs with some mixed vegetables and some cheese using my Yeti cooler as the refrigerator guys can see here I've got drinks on the bottom there I'm having coffee right now stove stand piece of butcher block the Iwatani stove you know, basic frying pan spatula and then oh the culprits eating my tortilla my egg tortilla nice coffee and we used uh, mission tortillas so I'm gonna give you guys a, a little once over on what I did here over the weekend I got the leak fixed I'll give you an update on that in a moment painted the bed frame reorganized some stuff so as soon as I get everything cleaned up I'll give you a tour got these nice little um, military plates at the um, Army Navy store they work out great when you're fixing meals hey guys we had a couple extra eggs left so I figured I'd cook them up so, just got this grill set up right outside alongside the vehicle we're in a strip mall here back behind the stores parked in the last space with a, a wall right here so no one can really see us back here there you go pretty much away from everybody as you can see and uh,
Iwatani stove working out great. Again, I could cook both outside and inside if needed. I prefer to cook outside if I if I can. It's just a little safer and um, a little bit more room to walk around. Okay. Again, got the cooler. Shut this off. Get some ham and cheese out of the cooler, and um, it'll be good to go. Okay, we got some Mexican cheese there, shredded cheese, and some honey ham slices. And uh, I'll get this going uh, in my plate. A little hard to film this, but you guys are. Out of what I'm doing here. Here's the plate. Here we go, guys. Second round for me. All right, guys, here's how I do the dishes just a little foldable dish bowl that folds flat I just rinsed off the plates uh, washed them I take these little scrubbies green scrubby sponges cut them in half from the store use them and then I carry some water in the back of the car to use for washing and then my little palm olive dish soap stored in this little Folgers coffee can with some of my other products there some soap some oil Stuff like that store it right in the Folgers can and um, you could do your dishes that way and just dry them off with paper towel uh, rinse them dry them off and you're good to go